Hi, we're the Cranberries and you're watching Ask MTV. Hi, I'm Dolores. And I'm Noel. We're the Cranberries and you're watching MTV and we're reading out some letters that uh, some fans sent in. First one. Hi, MTV. Thanks for having this show called Ask Cranberries. I think it really gives all their fans a big chance to get to know them better. Personally, I have a question that I hope they can answer. Your band has been described as a band with attitude. In your opinion, what do you think constitutes this attitude or style? Khalifa Perak, quite an unusual name. Um, I think attitude basically means when you are not afraid to be yourself, perhaps and when you are unique in that you say what you want to say despite what you should say and when you try not to fit in but you are purely yourself because you have the confidence or maybe the attitude to be that um, and our style it just derives from our souls I suppose do you agree no? I do <laughs> good, that's a good answer, like that <laughs> your turn Hi MTV and the Cranberries my name is Sari from Indonesia I would like to know, if you were stranded alone on an island, what three things would you have with you? You know... Something to drink, perhaps. Lots of water. Yeah. Um, a build your own bridge kit, maybe, to get off to there. And, um... Uh, stereo. Yeah, and something to build your own bridge to get off. Yeah. That's cool. Um... Hello Cranberries, I really love your songs a lot, especially Linger, which I think has simply very beautiful lyrics. I want to ask, if you have to choose between a life with no music or a life without the opposite sex, what would you choose? Oh, I choose neither, darling, I have to have boots. <laughs> no, that's, that's a bit of a tough one, actually. Because um, they're both very, you know, up there. What about you, no? Um, sex and music. I'm not going to say. <laughs> we need both, don't we? Yeah. To survive. Uh. That's Desiree from Singapore. Good question, Desiree. The next one is, Hi Cranberries, my name is Avi Keating. I would like to ask, what music are you listening to right now? What song would definitely get you guys on the dance floor? Um, I think we all kind of listen to different things, really. Yeah. Um, lately, I guess, uh, band, they could kind of still listen to R.E.M. and, um, U2. And Depeche you know. Mode. Yeah. And New things. Order and all those kind of yeah. things. And even the Smiths. And we have our moments where we become cure heads and we all wear yeah. black lipstick. <laughs> and we think we're 15 again. Um, and what always gets me on the dance floor is a bit of head banging and about 30 pints of, uh, beer. <laughs> Definitely, I'm up there. Yeah, I just have the beer that'll get me up there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next one. Hi, my name is Sao Pang, Sao Pang, and I come from Thailand, Bangkok. Dolores has changed her hair color many times. Da da, did it again. Catch it. <laughs> Which do you like best? I am thinking of dyeing my hair too. Any advice? Which? Me or my hair? Um, I like them all because I think variety is the spice of life. And I like the idea of, you know, just being able to do anything with your head and still being accepted because of what's in your head. <laughs> your turn. Hi, Cranberries. I really hope you guys are reading this. If you are, please answer my question. You guys look like a pretty rebellious band. Can you tell me what is the naughtiest, craziest thing you've ever done? Thanks. I am Ryan from the Philippines. Um, we're all not all that crazy. <laughs> this is the disappointing answer to this question. Uh, we don't really um, do too many crazy things. Like we, on a day off, sometimes we just go out and kind of party like everyone else, really. Yeah. Um, but uh, we don't kind of... Our, our, although I must admit, the rhythm section dress up yeah. in my clothes. Yeah, they have been, been known, known to deform my yeah. undies and things, stretch them to this size. And the bass player puts, sometimes he puts underwear in his head. <laughs> This is true. See, they're not here now, so we're telling all the bold stories. Don't tell them. <laughs> okay, this one is um, a big hello to cranberries. 
I am Aishak from Malaysia. I would like to ask the members of Cranberries if you have had a chance to be reborn and live your lives all over again, who would you want to be? Hmm. I'd like to be a butterfly or something like that. <laughs> or a frog. I don't know. What would you like to be? Sure. Um, a, a day fly and then get it over with and move on to something fly else. Fly be nice though. No, there's day ones. Take off, fly. you know. Yeah. So that's it. A fly, a butterfly. Hi MTV and the Cranberries. I'm a big fan of MTV and the Cranberries as well. I have a question for them. I know that you guys have won quite a number of awards. How does it feel to receive these awards? And are you like nervous when you're going on stage to receive these awards? Thanks for answering, Georgie, Singapore. Um, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's good to know that you know people kind of um, admire you. Yeah, like what you're doing as well. And you feel a sense of accomplishment. Yeah. But when you're up there, you're kind of really planking it because yeah. you're not up there singing. You're going, oh, thanks, man, and you're doing all that kind of thing, and, and you don't want to look too twee, like thanks, you know. Yeah. So um. It's usually kind of hard. Yeah, it's and, nerve wracking. And you don't want to start saying, I'd like to thank <laughs> and going on forever yeah, yeah. either. So, But um, it's nice, though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's, it's nice to get them, but it is kind of. Strange experience. Yeah, up there, it's like, weird. Yeah. In the speed. But it's part of the job. <laughs> Hi, and welcome back. Uh, I'm Noel. And I'm Dolores. We're from uh, the Cranberries. And uh, we're reading out some questions here on MTV, which were sent by our fans. And the next one goes like this. It goes, hello to Cranberries. I would like to ask Dolores why she has so many pierced holes on her right ear. Do they have special significance? Do you have any other body parts which are pierced? I have lots of holes in here because, well, when I was seven, I got one. When I was eight, I got another. When I was nine, 10, 11, 12, and all the ways up until I couldn't pierce anymore. And uh, I just did it because I liked them. And, um, yes, my belly button's pierced. Check it out. And um, it doesn't have much significance except that it was just me growing up in my own little way. Mm -hmm. Next <laughs> Jai, Jai, that was from Jai from the Philippines. Thanks, Jai. Hi, I am Kafu from, the, from Indonesia. I would like to ask the Cranberries, which band do you think is the best and who would you most want to work with? Yeah. Um, there's a lot of bands that we like actually at the moment. Um, um, from the young up and coming bands though. Um, Supergrass, pretty good. We like Supergrass. Um, um, and we like Oasis. And we like. Um, Radiohead. Radiohead. And the Manic yeah. Street Preacher's new album is quite nice. Yeah. And um, REM are nice. Yeah, there's a lot of bands. It's kind Pearl of. Pearl Jam. Yeah. It's definitely. Because a few years ago, I guess. Uh, dance music kind of took over for a while but it seems to have turned again now and there's a lot more new kind of exciting bands coming up so it's good yeah next question let me see hi cranberries good day to you guys my name is jeff and i'm from singapore i would like to know if dolores screams a lot in real life <laughs> because the song zombie is so full of her vocal powers how do you maintain such a powerful voice um I scream when I'm getting my legs waxed or when I was getting my belly button pierced or something like that and uh, when I was having a baby but not normally <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, I think my voice is strong because um, I spare it a lot in real life I don't I try not to scream too much and I mind it so then when I go on stage I scream my head off and it's good and uh, I, I, um, I do scales and stuff before I go on stage <laughs> Your turn now. Okay. Um, hi, Cranberries. I'd like to know your musical influences on and your idols when you were kids. Um, it kind of varies, really. Yeah, I mean, because when you're a teenager or a kid, like you're not really thinking about music as much as you're yeah. thinking about, oh, he's lovely looking, <laughs> that kind of thing. So, well, when I was a teenager, I used to like Duran Duran and, and um, Nick Kershaw. And um, yeah. Limal, and all that kind of Spandu Ballet, 
because they were all nice looking boys. And then when I became a little bit more kind of aware of um, kind of um, people's mentalities, I suppose, I think we got more into like bands like The Smiths and The Cure. Yeah, that's kind of what we were all kind of into. Kind but of. Noel used to have pinups of Blondie, didn't you? Debbie Harry? No? No. Did you have any teenage idol girlies? Um, no, I wasn't that way. Transvision fan? I was a left <laughs> <laughs> Um Yeah, that was from Bobby in uh, Manila, by the way. Bobby, thank you, Bobby. Yeah. And the next one goes, Hey MTV, my name is Derek and I come from the sunny island of Singapore. I would like to ask the Cranberries, what would you guys be doing if you were not making music and loads of money? Now, yeah, see. I don't know because... We're you know, still not making loads of money. <laughs> because, um... This is just the way our lives turned out, so I don't really know what we'd be doing if this didn't happen. You know, it's kind of like, you know, it just happened, so... I don't know. Okay, um, I think it's time for another video now, so... The next video is... Salvation. Rose <laughs> like this. Dear MTV, What's up? This is Kalia from ba Bandung. I would like to know if Dolores feels odd being the only girl in the band. Does she get bullied? No, I bully them, don't I? Yeah, I know after the time. I beat them up. I have a little uh, stick with a uh, kind of feathers here in the end and a uh, kind of leather there and I beat them. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, hello to the Cranberries. My name is Barry and I come from Piark, Malaysia. Imagine both Imagine that both Liam Gallagher and Axel Rose from Guns N' Roses approached you to do a collaboration. Who would you choose to work with if you had to pick one? Thanks, and may you continue to produce more good music. Um, Axel. Yeah. Would you? He's really rock and roll, you know? Yeah! Now, the next one goes, My name is Diana and I'm from the Philippines. I'd like to ask the Cranberries, what is the special thing about being famous? Do you guys get treated differently in different countries? Um, I suppose the special or unique thing about being famous is that people know you who you don't know, so it can be intimidating if you let it be. But if you're in a good headspace and you think that the people are being nice, well, then it's okay. Um, and you get treated differently in different countries, as in, mm. in Spain, the fans are very kind of intense, and in Mexico, yeah. and in Italy, they're very expressive, and they really express their excitement and stuff. And then, I guess, um, in Germany, um, we think that the German people clap a lot, and they like to rock a lot. And then, um, what else? Yeah, it's like you could go to Japan then and just to kind of sit down yeah, the main, on the audience. So it varies. It's like every country is so different. Sometimes you can be in the same country and go to different towns and it would be different. Yeah, and sometimes know? like when you're playing in London, it's like you could be absolutely killing yourself singing like ah, and they'd be there, impress us, you know. So it just depends. It depends on where the town is and what kind of music they have and how much music they have and whether they're really into it or whether they're totally spoiled because they've loads and loads and loads of music or whatever, see. So it depends on, on the people, I guess. It differs. And uh, I think this is the last one here. It's, uh, Hello, Cranberries. I'm Bobby from Manila, Philippines. Well, I've been a big fan since your first album. I would like to ask you if there is one Hollywood actor, actress, that you could date, who will it be and why? I'm afraid we're all married, you see here, that's the problem. We're all married, right? But if we weren't, a bit of window shopping now. <laughs> well, if I was a guy, I'd go for camera and Diaz, right? What do you think of her? She's soft. I could see that, yeah. She's fine thing. But because I'm a girl, I'd say Brad Pitt, Robert De Niro. I'd take a little bit of, um... <laughs> I'll stop. So, yeah, we've come to the end of um, our question thing. And uh, thanks for sending in the questions. It was cool and it was fun. So we're going to leave you with this video, which is called Ode to My Family.